The link is the Mario Skłodowska Curie European Training Network, which is funded by the EU's Horizon 2020 program. In ETNs, a group of partners based all around Europe, from academia and from industry, recruits a team of postgraduate researchers to carry out a joint research project. The researchers work together um, for three years in the network. During that time, they complete a PhD and they also receive training in scientific and complementary skills with the aim of preparing them for a future career in research. The link started in November of 2014. The basic idea behind our project was to bind together different disciplines, which in our case is the simulation, the characterization and the production of uh, nanostructured composites. The specific composites we are working with um, were suggested by the industrial partners of our project and what we are looking at are phase separated polymers, electrically conductive polymers and separation membranes. The most positive aspect for a, of an ITN project like the LINK is that the single PhD students are working on a big group of other PhD students who are all aiming to the same target. And the most interesting aspect here is that every PhD student has his own view on, on the target, depending on the discipline where he's coming from. But of course, he has a big potential to profit also from the knowledge and the expertise of his fellow PhD students who are coming from the, from, from the other disciplines. The simulation work package aims to develop and apply multi-scale simulation methods. Within the link, these methods are used for material and product development for the three project case studies of thermoplastic nanocomposites, phase-separated polymers and filter membranes. The work package includes the development of equation platforms, which help to compare the results of calculations to experimental results. It also includes the development of pre-processing modules for simulation packages used in industry. My task in the project is to help companies to develop new products with new interesting properties. Namely, I'm helping Covestro to study isocyanurates, which are used as coatings and hardeners. I am running advanced molecular simulation to understand their physical behavior, their dynamic properties, and by this helping the look for new processing routes. In Patras, where we are focusing on simulating transport phenomena in porous media. Uh, our main contribution to the project is the simulation of the, pro of the hemodialysis process for the blood uh, clearance from protein-bound toxins. We are using simulation tools and methods in order to predict the membrane performance and clearance. I am uh, working in the simulation, so we are trying to simulate the behavior of the kidney in a very basic uh, in a very molecular level. We model the electrical, optical and electromagnetic shielding properties of polymer composites with uh, carbon nanotubes. Our objective is to establish a, a relationship between uh, the material morphology, structure and the distribution of the carbon nanotubes and the material's uh, microscopic properties. Uh, I work on atomistic simulations of carbon nanotube polymer composite interfaces. So, functionalized carbon nanotube polymers have received significant interest as a very promising structure of materials with applications in the most demanding areas of industry, such as ballistic protection and aerospace. And developing a fundamental understanding of the failure mechanism at the carbon nanotube polymer interface is essential in making better materials suited for a wider uh, range of applications. The focus of my project is the simulation of the strength sensing or self-sensing capabilities of carbon nanotube polymer composites. This implies studying the electrical and mechanical properties of these materials and understanding the coupling mechanism between these two different physical domains. Mm. Very briefly, I use computational methods to extract the behavior of these versions of carbon nanotubes in polymer matrices by simulating a very small sample and trying to capture all the involved physical mechanisms. 
the characterization work package aims to develop and apply volumetric, cheap and robust online and offline characterization techniques for nanocomposites. In the link, these techniques are used for material and product development in the three project case studies. And I'm investigating the properties of nanomaterials with optical coherence tomography. Uh, right now I am developing uh, PVDF membranes uh, for uh, life science and biomedical applications. My task within this project is to develop a characterization technique. It's a technique called uh, dilated spectroscopy to characterize uh, polymer nanocomposites. Um, I'm a materials engineer and currently I'm researching the characterization of nanocarbon composites. The processing work package is investigating the processing of thermoplastic nanocomposites and phase separated polymers. The knowledge and expertise is applied within the link to develop products in the area of electrical conductivity and EMI shielding, as well as filter membranes and sealing materials. In my project, we aim to improve existing and invent new materials that are stronger and have better functionality. So, what we do is we take our known strong and durable materials that we use for coatings and adhesives and we take the chemistry and the technology that makes them strong and apply them to the functional materials that are used for example in the biomedical field. I work with membranes and with membranes I want to purify the dialysis used in hemodialysis um, because if it would be possible to develop a system for the recycling of the dialysis, then we would think about uh, the uh, development of a wearable artificial kidney. So my aim in the DALINK project is to produce, uh, disperse and functionalize uh, different 2D materials, especially uh, from the graphene family. I'm doing my PhD at the Fraunhofer ICT in uh, controlling nanostructures in nanocomposites. The problems we are trying to approach is, are the dispersion of the nanoparticles in uh, the composites and, um, and the structure that they, they create. So either to characterize, to be able to see what, uh, what's inside and uh, being able to control them. My research work focuses on the processing and electrical characterization of carbon-based polymer composites and we are trying to develop conductive polymer composites for electromagnetic interference shielding applications. The main goal of my research is to try to establish correlations between the processing settings and the electrical behavior of conductive polymer composites meant to be used on electromagnetic interference shielding applications. The design of the LINK project encourages the PhD students to cooperate. Results from complementary work packages can be used to enrich the knowledge attained in the individual PhD projects. Simulation results, for example, can help the project from the processing work package to understand how a structural parameter of the material influences its physical properties. Or characterization methods can make certain structural parameters of the material visible. In the link, as in all European training networks, it's important that our researchers work together to achieve a joint result. So our researchers exchange data and samples, they go on visits and secondments, and they also present their results jointly at conferences and in publications. We also have a project meeting every six months, which is a good opportunity to get together to discuss progress and plan future work, and also to have some fun. Whoa. Wow! 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 You watched to the end of the video. Bueno. Grazie mille per interesse. Muchas gracias. Donkey Will. Thank you for your interest in our project. Okay. Ciao.